Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Fixing Arsenal. In today's episode, we've got the second leg of the Europa League quarter-final against Olympiacos. We've also got an away tie in the Premier League against bottom of the table Newcastle. But there's been some interesting developments in the Premier League that you've missed since the last time we met. So the first game after the crushing, disappointing defeat against Liverpool in the quarter-finals of the FA Cup was a 4-0 home win against rivals Spurs. Nicolas Pepe in the first minute getting the opening goal. Everton with the brace and Alexander Lacazette with the other. Lucas Moura did get himself sent off in the 40th minute. But by that point, the game was already pretty much done. And then we went away from home against Aston Villa. Dominated the game. Didn't really create too many chances though. And we drew 1-1. Wesley with the opening goal four minutes in from a penalty spot. Nicolas Pepe equalised shortly after in the 13th minute. But two points dropped again. And much more difficult than I thought it was going to be. Olympiacos in the first leg at home. We only won 1-0. And it took to the 81st minute for us to actually get that goal. It was Guri who came on for Alexander Lacazette. Who had had a disappointing game. And got the goal in the end. But we did dominate the match. Just again, didn't take our chances. And finally, we had Sheffield United at home in the Premier League. Which we won 3-0. Mesut Ozil, Guri and Ruben Diaz with the goals again. As you can see, Aubameyang did return from injury in this match and played about half an hour. And then he got food poisoning, so he's going to miss both games today. So this is how the Premier League table looks after those set of fixtures. We sit top of the league, two points clear with the game in hand. It's Manchester United and Liverpool are faltering at the same time we are. So we are definitely looking hot favourites to win the Premier League title right now. And if we just look at the schedule... We've got Manchester United in about three Premier League games, so that could be the title decider. But that's for the next episode. Today, we've got the Europa League and Newcastle, who currently sit bottom of the table on 14 points. So whilst Olympiacos on paper looked like a pretty easy draw for us, it's going to be difficult today. Bernd Leno starts in goal, Bellerin starts at right back. Socrates and Rob Holden have to start today, as both Ruben Diaz and David Luiz are our first choice centre-backs. Are both suspended. Kieran Cheney starts at left back though. Lucas Torreira and Manuel Guendouzi in the centre. Pepe Ozil and Everton in the attack and midfield roles. And I'm going to give the start to Amin Guri. He's been good when he's came off the bench. If you look at the previous five games from Lacazette, it's been incredibly disappointing. He started very, very well once he went up top by himself, but that has slowly but surely tapered out into poor performances. So I'm willing to give Guri the chance, especially in the Europa League. But this is by no means um, going to be an easy game whatsoever. We only beat them 1-0 in the first leg. They're at home this time. They've still got some good players do Olympiacos. And we're going to be have to be at our best today if we are to get through to the semi-finals. First highlight of the game, 8 minutes in. It's Olympiacos on the attack on the left-hand side. Socrates manages to get clear, but it falls to Guillaume on the edge of the box. El Abdouli. This is, this is what I'm worrying about. Olympiacos might end up taking the game to us here. But Everton manages to nip in and pinches the ball. And Mesut Ozil now has a 2-1-2 two -two situation with Guri. Great challenge by CC at the back though for Olympiacos as Everton drives forward. Kieran Tini doesn't get there first and Olympiacos can clear. But we keep the pressure up with Bellerin and Guendouzi. Nicholas Pepe now. Go on. Where's the ball man? Poor, poor uh, choice of pass there by Pepe. But Bellerin gets to him in the end. And Everton went for the scissor kick. And unfortunately, didn't get it on target. Early on, Nicolas Pepe has picked up a knot. We're just not even going to bother risking him. We'll get Reese Nelson on on that right-hand side. No need to um, risk Pepe in this game. You know, we can afford to be able to take it off. Nelson's played pretty well on that right-hand side as well once he's got game time. But uh, Tierney with the cross in. It goes all the way through to Bellerin. And I thought that was in. It looked like it went through the side netting to me, but it went wide. Another highlight now. Hector Bellerin on this right-hand side whips the ball in. It's cleared. But oh, oh my god, Lucas Torreira, only his second goal of the season. Let's watch that again on the replay. By far the best goal I've seen this season, by the way. If, if my eyes served as correctly in the first place. Bellerin, it's headed clear by CC, And then Torreira, first time volley. That is beautiful. Running onto it. Sort of reminds me of the, of the John McGinn goal for Aston Villa. Um, absolutely fantastic, Lucas Torreira. But um, this is how we get repaired. Everton needs taken off now. We'll get Emil Smith Rowe on on the left hand side for him. And um, both of our first choice wingers picking up injuries in this game isn't ideal. But as long as we we'll get through, that is what matters. 
As we start the second half, Nelson with a free kick. Rob Holden's back post. It goes just over. Another highlight now. Hector Bellerin on this right-hand side gets past his man. He whips the ball in back post. Emil Smith, roar. No. Again, hasn't really been a great performance by your 70 minutes in now. But we're getting the job done against Olympiacos. We're going to keep Lucas Torreira on the pitch. He has done very well. We're getting uh, Hector Bellerin off on that right-hand side. We'll bring on Malqui. See if he can provide some extra ammunition going forward as he tends to do. As Torreira picks up the ball here. Tries to find Smith Rowe. Gury is brought down in the box. Referee. You don't need to see the screen for that one, do you? No, you don't. It is a penalty. And I mean, Gury will be the one who steps up to potentially bury this game for Arsenal. And he does. I mean, Gury goes to the left-hand side. The keeper's right. He can't keep it out. And a 2-0 up on the night. 3-0 up on aggregate. It's game over. Another highlight now. Reese Nelson with a free kick. It's played in back post. It's cleared. But Ozil keeps the ball alive. And he gets dispossessed by Guerrero. And Olympiacos can drive forward now with numbers. Fortunus. Picks up the ball. Some nice play by Olympiacos to get in on the right-hand side. It goes all the way out to the left-hand side this time for Leonardo. Who whips it in. Guerrero's there. And Miguel Angel Guerrero gets his fourth goal of the season for Olympiacos. And suddenly it's looking a little bit more nervy. But we do have two away goals. We've got to remember that. No need to panic. Um, we're going to stick with our game plan as is. We will move to a more positive team mentality. Look to kill the game a little bit with seven minutes remaining. We haven't got any substitutes, so I don't know what I'm playing at there. We'll just keep things as they are. 87 minutes in, there is another highlight. It looks like it might be for us, for us this time. There was Ozil plays a lovely ball over the top for Smith Rowe. And he goes close, but it's a good save by the Olympiacos goalkeeper. Reese Nelson with a corner. Let's just ignore it. And now we have it, boys. Full time. Olympiacos 1, Arsenal 2, 3 1 on aggregate. We are safely through to the semi-finals of the Europa League. Who will we be playing? Um, who will we be playing? I can't remember now. I think it was the winner of Roma FC Porto. So it looks like it will be Roma. And it is. That will be the next episode. A very, very tough tie. How are Roma doing in Serie A? They're currently sitting in the Champions League spots. Um, alongside Lazio. Who they have beat in the previous round of the Europa League. So it's not going to be an easy task whatsoever. And who was in the other semi-final? Borussia Dortmund and PSV made it to the next semi-final as well. You would imagine Borussia Dortmund should be able to see off the challenge of PSV and make it through to the final. So them could potentially be our oppositions at the back end of the season if we can get past Roma. But back to the Premier League. Newcastle next. Let's see how we get on. So we're back for the Newcastle game of course. Away from home. We need the win today. It looks like Manchester United drew their previous game. Who were they playing? I think they were playing Bournemouth. They did. They drew 2-2 at Old Trafford. That is beautiful. So we now have the opportunity of moving four points clear of Man United. And having a game in hand which will be absolutely fantastic. We will be six points clear on the same number of games of Liverpool if we are to win a day. And Newcastle are bottom. Here comes a defeat. So the lineup's pretty much the same. Um, no, it's not actually. It's completely different. <laughs> Ruben Diaz and David Luiz come back in at centre back. Uh, Thomas Partey and Lucas Torreira are going to be our two central midfielders, with Torreira being the defensive one. Reese Nelson starts over the head of injured Ed Edison. Emil Smith Rowe starts over the injured Nicolas Pepe. And Alexandre Lagazette comes back in for Amin Guri. And Pierre Emerick Aubameyang is on the bench, and he's definitely coming on in the second half. So Newcastle actually come at us with a sort of similar formation to what Arsenal's could have been, should I have went for a three at the back. Um, any major new signings that I can see, it doesn't look like it. It uh, looks like a pretty much standard first season Newcastle squad. They're not performing very well in the league, and that doesn't exactly fill me with confidence. I would half have preferred if they were a mid-table side, but we'll have to do the business against these sort of teams. We are away from home. They are obviously going to be quite defensive against us. But we've got the quality to be able to bring them down. And we've got Aubameyang on the bench. So let's see how the rest of this game goes as the first highlight. Goes Newcastle's way. And um, yeah, Emil Kraft gets the first goal. That's so superb. Just the way we wanted to start. Nine minutes in. <laughs> Newcastle. Oh, God, see. Don't do this to me. We can't bottle it from this position. We are in such a strong position. But I just had a feeling... Against bottom of the table, Newcastle won what, what, like three games all season. 
that we would struggle today. But Reese Nelson whips in a free kick and David Luiz goes close. We're going to a more attacking formation straight away, pushing the wing backs up, um, increasing the tempo and increasing our passing directness. Let's see if it makes much of a difference in this first half with only 20 minutes to go. <sighs> Highlight just before half time, please, boys. Just get a goal. Bring it back to 1 1 before the second half. Mesut Ozil keeps the ball alive. Lucas Torreira finds Thomas Party. Hector Bellerin in an acres of space on this right hand side. Drives into the box. Goes for goal. I've told him to shoot less often. <laughs> um, half time. Newcastle 1, Arsenal 0. It's not going great, boys. I'm not happy. Um, let's kick off for the second half. Highlight straight from kickoff. Come on. Get the goal back like now. Reese Nelson coming down this right hand side. Can he get past Jet Row Willems? No, he can't. Mesut Ozil finds Reese Nelson again on this right hand side. He does get past his man this time. He gets the ball back. Thomas Party. Oh, that was the highlight as well, I can tell you now. Maybe it wasn't. Maybe I'm being a bit snappy because we're getting beat. As Reese Nelson goes for goal. Thank God for that. Thank you. Thank you, Reese Nelson. He gets his fifth goal of the season. Another assist for Hector Bellerin to add to his collection. And despite a disappointing first half, hopefully now this is the turnaround in the second. Bellerin knocks it back to Reese Nelson. This is a stinging strike. Dubravka <laughs> should definitely do better. But I don't care. Newcastle won. Arsenal won. David Luiz with a free kick finds Ruben Diaz. Hits the top of the woodwork. Highlight after highlight in this second half. 51 minutes in now. Emile Smith-Rowe picks up the ball. Goes for goal. Emile Smith-Rowe gets his second goal of the season. And that is delightful. We're going to go back to our regular tactic. And just calm it down a bit, boys. Calm it down. t &E with a throw in. Finds Torreira, who knocks a nice little through ball for Emile Smith-Rowe. And that is a superb finish from about 20 yards out. Um, unbelievable strike. We'll take it. And with half an hour remaining, Lacazette had a poor game. We are bringing back Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang. Let's see if we can keep him fit for two minutes. Newcastle are very much playing the long ball tactic. It might end up catching us out, but with Ruben Diaz at the back now, I'm not as concerned because we've got a little bit of pace there with Kieran Tini coming down the left-hand side to continue the highlight. Emile Smith-Rowe gets the ball on the edge of the box. He drives to the penalty spot and almost gets his second goal of the game. St. Maximin, though, could potentially be breaking for Newcastle, but Torreira gets back, does his defensive duties. Reese Nelson with a free kick. It's played in back post. It's cleared by Newcastle. Bellerin is going to get there first, though, and keep our attack going. Kieran Tini <sighs> goes all the way back. Thomas, uh, Thomas Party plays in Smith Rowe on the left hand side. Ozil to Aubameyang, who's brought down. Do not be injured. I think that was just outside the box. I don't think it was a penalty. Yeah, it was a free kick. Lejeune. It's going to pick up a yellow card here. Or maybe a red card. If the jet... No, it's not. He's just giving him a lecture. We we needed to say that just to make sure he was getting punished. David Luiz with the free kick. Oh, he hits the post. I was I was, I was was ready to celebrate. I thought that was going in the back of the net. It wasn't a bay though. With only 13 or so minutes remaining. Kolasinac will come on for Kieran Tini on that left-hand side. Reese Nelson's having a great game. Um, Hector Bellerin could come off for... Uh, Malqui and um, with 10 minutes to go we've gone to a positive team mentality just looking to retain possession and kill this game 4 minutes to go Reese Nelson with a corner Mesut Ozil to Emile smith Raw. he gets his second goal of the game his third goal of the season he's proven he can be a very very handy player when Everton is unavailable and between Reese Nelson and smith Raw, they are definitely staking a claim for a first team spot with only 4 minutes to go that should kill the game Newcastle 1, Arsenal 3, time is ticking away, that's going to be it for the game, full time, we come away with that, we thought 10 minutes in it was going to be a bit of a scare but our second half performance definitely proved to be positive and we take the 3 points and go clear at the top of the Premier League. So with 5 games to go for ourselves, we are 4 points clear from Manchester United who only have 4 games remaining. And we are six points clear from Liverpool, who are on the same number of games. Eight points clear from Man City, who have definitely came back into the... They were like seventh at one point, completely out of the title race. But um, they've only been defeated twice against Villa and West Ham. So they've just drew too many games have Man City. Otherwise, they would have been competing with us at the top. Looking forward to the next episode then. When are we coming back? It's got to be the Man United game. Absolutely has to be. It is going to be away from home against Manchester United. And then the away tight against you, uh, Roma in the Europa League semis to see if we can get to the final and that could be the day we win the Premier League. But anyway, if you have enjoyed today's video, please consider leaving a like. And if you are enjoying my content, 
get yourself subscribed. But until next time, take it easy.